everyone, and welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Casey DeSantis. Hey, folks. Happy Thursday. I'm Curtis Dvorak. All right. Did you watch it last night? Uh, I did not because you know I go to bed at like right. 8 every night. Uh, but I, wa I did watch the highlights this morning when I came in. It was awesome. America's Got Talent wrapped up its season Wednesday night on NBC. The show crowned its newest winner based on America's vote. And for fans who've been watching all season, it probably wasn't a big surprise. Mark Berger has the story and the details. Take a look. She made a big first impression on AGT's opening night. Here is your winner. And on the show's season finale, she made a lasting one. Darcy Lynn! With a record 52 million votes cast, viewers chose 12-year-old ventriloquist Darcy Lynn Farmer, the winner of America's Got Talent. Honestly, I have no words. I'm just so happy and blessed that um, the man upstairs blessed me with this title, and I'm so, so excited and happy that I can't stop crying. The Oklahoma City youngster wins a million dollars and the chance to headline a show in Las Vegas. You don't get many people like this girl. Uh, she's unique, super, super talented. She deserved it. The runner-up was 10-year-old singer Angelica Hale. All of the finalists got to perform alongside established stars in the finale, and that included Farmer, whose talents impressed season two winner, Terry Fader. She's going to be one of the greats. In fact, I think right now she already is one of the greats. As well as ventriloquism standout, Jeff Dunham. Her skill level is absolutely fantastic, and, and the singing ability is, is pretty much unparalleled. Now, with a million-dollar prize, Farmer plans to donate a portion to her church, and then... Finally get a new dishwasher for my mom. A gift from the girl who cleaned up on America's Got Talent. Mark Bark, NBC News. That's it cool. Was, it was really cool. It was really cool. The techno group, uh, techno dance group Light Balance finished third. Deaf singer Mandy Harvey finished fourth. And Trained Dog Act, Casey's favorite, Saren Hero, rounded out the show's top five. But what was really funny is right up there on the stage, you saw that these two guys run up on stage right as she wins. And you're like, what the heck? And, they, and they, Tyra goes, who are you? And they're like, I'm her brother. And the other one's like, I'm her brother, too. And they're, you, <laughs> I've never met my brother right now. You could, you could see. <laughs> who are these people? You could, I just wanted to hear. It's like, we're so sorry for making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> all those years, now that you have a show in Las Vegas and a million dollars, we we're have best some? friends. Yeah. yeah, all these people you had no idea existed, all coming out of the woodwork. It was really uh, cool. I loved the little girl. Um, what was her name? Angelica. Angelica Hale. Who and Hale? So after the winner was announced, she went over and gave her a hug. Yeah. And what perspective she had afterwards to say, you know, I came and runner up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you never know? thought you'd be there. She wasn't disappointed. She was happy. I was just. It was neat. It was really. It, it was. It was neat. And you called it from the very beginning. You it, said the event. Ventriloquist was going it to It was win. like Grace Vanderwall last year. You, when you saw that act and you saw the rest, you're like, this looks like it's going to be. But they, they did a very good job of, of making you, you know, think that others could possibly win. But what was funny was the preacher, the, uh, the comedian. The comedian. So they put him up one by two, two at a time for the ten to go to the final five. And they announce, they announce her. Darcy Lynch comes up, and then they're announcing the second one. They announce him, and he goes... Oh, he knew. He knew. He knew he was out as soon as he had to go side by side with her in the elimination. Yeah, no chance. That's, um, it was neat. It was fun to watch. I always like that show because you see how many people across this country have such unique talents, yeah. singing abilities. You never even would know that they exist, but the show gives them a platform to be able to highlight what they can do. And so that is what I love yeah. about the show. Speaking of competitions, That's by right. the way, South Korea has unveiled its bronze, silver, and gold medals that the world's top athletes will be competing for. Are you ready for this 2018 uh, Olympic? that are going to be in Pyeongchang. That's right. Located in the mount, mountainous uh, Gangwon province, some 111 miles east of Seoul, Pyeongchang will, will host Asia's first Winter Games, taking place 30 years after Seoul claimed its place on the global sporting stage with the 1988 Summer Games. The Pyeongchang Winter Olympics are going to be uh, South Korea. Uh, we'll see South Korea join an elite group of countries to complete the hosting Grand Slam. The Games are scheduled for February 9th through the 25th. Of next I do year. believe 2018 is right around the corner, which I can't get oh. over. Like, where's this, this year? I mean, where's this year gone? It's just flown by. Where's my floating you probably, skateboard? You're, right? You want to be like uh, Marty name McFly. My, name a hoverboard skateboard. You lied to me. Anyway. Marty, not Marty. Marty, what did I say? Marty McFly. Yeah. Why did that sound this one, to me? This one's good. This is. So you were talking about this story this yeah. morning. Prince mm -hmm. William started mm -hmm. his new school in London, and it's getting a lot of attention. The school is about 30 minutes from Buckingham Palace and costs about $23,000 a year. But the school is getting a lot of attention today regarding its friendship policy. 
Apparently, they don't encourage you to have best friends. So, for example, if a student wants to give out invitations to a party at school, all students in the class must be invited so that nobody feels like they are excluded. Sure. Sure, Which is great for everybody who wants to go to Buckingham Palace when he celebrates his birthday. By the way, the food is supposed to be like spectacular. They eat things like uh, lamb ragu and Portuguese egg custard tarts for lunch. You know, look, this is a royal family, so and I'm I'm big into I'm almost done with Game of Thrones. I got two episodes left. You know who eats royal tarts or whatever it was? What was that tarts something? Lamb uh, ragu and, and custard tarts. You know who Portuguese eats those? Portuguese egg custard tarts. Joffrey. Joffrey <laughs> eats custard tarts. You know who yeah. doesn't eat Joffrey custard tarts and lamb so ragu? Well. Jon Snow. <laughs> Prince William, please be more like Jon Snow and not Joffrey. Somebody's been watching a lot of Game of Thrones trying to get caught up to the, uh, yeah. the season finale, season six yeah. finale. $23,000 for preschool? Prep school. Oh. <laughs> well, that's totally Prep better. School. Hey. Prep school. What did you get? Gold diapers there? I what don't the know, heck? but if you're getting lamb ragu, I mean, <laughs> so, sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, this is a good one. From royalty to a goat on the loose. Out of the hundreds of calls the Auburn Police Department received over the past few days, Auburn, oh my gosh, there we go. The ones that stood out the most were about a goat. That's right, a goat that was spotted st starting at 6 a.m. Friday, just wandering around town. It was located near a storage facility, getting on the highway, and by Sunday morning, police received a call that the elusive farm animal was at a school. Must have been tired from all the travel because finally surveillance cameras caught the goat at a La Quinta hotel wandering the halls in the wee hours of Monday morning. That's where the goat was captured and returned to its owners at a pig farm in Millbury. It can't make this around. up. That's actually that sounds like a camera. A prank of <laughs> it's a cop well, it's Auburn, it's college campus, so a goat wandering through a hall isn't as surprising, but it, it's just still funny when you look at that. Yeah. <laughs> La Quinta. Uh, Elite La Quinta. Maybe he's <clears throat> tired. Okay, so Porsche has gone from luxury cars and the business that they do there, and now they're inventing something totally different, and they're getting ready to debut it very soon, which is they're creating their own super yachts, Ooh, which, by the way, wallet. will set owners back some 12 million pounds or more than $16 million. So oh. according to DailyMail.com, that thing comes equipped with a spa pool, al fresco dining, uh, space for four guests below the decks. It was launched in Italy, and now will go to Monaco in time for the annual yacht show which is this weekend just seven yachts like this will be married so uh, married will be created uh, so if you want to get married on that i guess you got to you know spend 16 million dollars to buy the thing uh you know who won't buy a yacht like that <laughs> john snow <laughs> john snow wouldn't sail on a yacht like that somebody's been binge watching on netflix joffrey would sail on that but he can't now because he's dead oh, oh sorry if you're not caught up spoiler alert <laughs> too late <laughs>